loose building. That wasn't very good. Because James had somehow messed up that time, and because this test was about the cars, we decided to go again. It's a rocket ship. Okay, we have all three won this now. <laughs> Determined to find a definitive one, two, three finishing order, we ran again. Another totally different result there, gentlemen. And again. That's a different result again. And again. At this point, we decided to call a halt to proceedings because we had reached a scientific conclusion. It turns out that it doesn't really matter which car you buy. It all depends on your shoes. Now, this is a top loafer, slightly worn to give a, a crisper Jump off the brake pedal and it's immediate. Now, this is this a is, converse. And I'm surprised there's more sponge in yeah, there than I thought. Spongy, See, Adidas, they weren't thinking that through. No, no, no. See, as you lift your foot up. It's a millisecond. I know you've got Kurs, I know you've got a 6.3 litre V12, and I know that launch control system's amazing, but it's all let down by the sponginess of the Adidas shoe. So they should sell you the car and the shoes. No, more than that. Have you got the correct shoes and have you worn them in? Exactly. Yeah. Fresh shoes, yeah. lads. I need to just run around the to be, uh, <laughs> I need run to skid in. about. Yep. There we go. Yep. With that sorted, it was time to bring in a racing driver to see which of our cars could do the fastest lap. Our resident American said he wasn't interested because all three cars are probably communist. So instead, we went for a Belgian chap who's done Formula One and Formula E, Jerome D'Ambrosio. Jerome took the cars out to get a sense of how they handled. Finished, we were interested to hear his professional opinion. Alors, on va commencer par la Porsche, la plus facile à rouler, euh, voiture beaucoup plus assez neutre, euh, beaucoup beaucoup de grip dans les, dans les virages lents, une très très bonne motricité. On est directement très à l'aise, il faut un ou deux tours pour se mettre en confiance. Oui, c'est vrai. Exactement. La Ferrari, c'est la voiture euh, un, magnifique, une balance de voiture très neutre mm. entre les trois. La Ferrari est un super compromis. Elle met aussi assez rapidement en confiance. Euh, et donc, je pense que voilà. Oui, c'est mal. La McLaren, voiture, je pense peut-être la plus difficile à piloter. Très facile de faire une erreur. C'est vraiment une voiture de grand garçon. Il faut faire attention et, et donc pas facile de faire un tour. Je pense qu'elle est un peu moins efficace. At this point, word reached us that Jeremy was taking liberties with the subtitling machine. Gif, and it repeats like a little too fast to be like, what? But other than that, man, it's dope as hell. You gotta check it out. Okay, that's it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.